Now on Nightside, a standoff tonight at an apartment complex in Post Falls. Storms have tapered off tonight, but the lull is only temporary. I'll let you know when to expect the next round of stormy weather in the first alert forecast. A mudslide near Mount St. Helens left drivers stranded and in need of rescue. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside. We start tonight with breaking news. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Tonight, a standoff at an apartment complex in Post Falls ended in a surrender. Post Falls police say it started as a domestic dispute, and when officers showed up, they heard a gunshot they thought came from the apartment. That's when they called in the Kootenai County SWAT team, and the suspects would not come out of the apartment at first. Other residents at the complex were asked to evacuate for their own safety. Negotiators were able to get the people in the apartment to surrender. More breaking news around 10 this morning. Shoshone County Sheriff's Office was notified about a man who had been hit in the head with an axe. The attack happened at a home in Wallace. The victim was flown to Kootenai Hospital where he remains in critical condition. The suspect was found naked on the scene and arrested. This is an ongoing investigation. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Here are four things to know about your forecast. We have more thunderstorms on the way for Tuesday. It looks like they will be stronger than what we saw today, and we did see some strong storms with pea-sized hail and 30-mile-per-hour gusts. They will also be more widespread with heavy rain possible, and that uh, brings up the possibility of flash flooding. Record heat on the way this weekend. A lot to cover. Let's start with our Doppler radar right now. Thunderstorms tapering off down on the Palouse and also along I-90. We do still have a little bit of activity as we head further north of Newport and Priest River. A few cloud to ground lightning strikes there. And we've had some heavy rain uh, in the Bonners Ferry area this evening from thunderstorms in there. That location, these showers and thunderstorms will be tapering off later this evening with dry conditions overnight. Meanwhile, our high temperatures today running well above average. Our average high is only in the mid 60s. We were in the 80s and even in the 90s in some locations and we will be in similar territory again tomorrow. In fact, today very much like today other than those thunderstorms may be a little more intense and widespread tomorrow afternoon, a high of 84 degrees. I'll be back to let you know how warm it's going to get this weekend in your seven day forecast. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Tomorrow, state lawmakers will return to Olympia to try again to pass new drug possession legislation. Right now, in most parts of the state, law enforcement agencies have to refer anyone who is caught doing drugs to rehab services before an arrest can be made. Lawmakers tried to address the issue in April, but it failed to pass. Governor Jay Inslee called for a special session earlier this month, saying, My office and I have been meeting with legislators from all four caucuses, and I am very optimistic about reaching an agreement that can pass both chambers. Well, eventually you knew the luck was going to run out for the Seattle Kraken at some point during this postseason as they face their second game seven in the playoffs in the last two weeks. And this veteran squad of the Dallas Stars just proved to be too much for the young team of, from Seattle. But it wasn't like the Kraken were completely run off the ice as the game was scoreless 35 minutes into the matchup. However, from there, a couple critical errors on defense played right into the hands of the Stars as they capitalized on those mistakes and pulled away to win this game and this series to advance to the Western Conference uh, Finals. But while the game is going to sting for a while for the players and the fan base, knowing the opportunity was there, this season as a whole has to be viewed as a success. Two game sevens. Um, I think we've done a great job. Um, I don't think we came out as good as we did in, that, in game six. But we found a way to battle back there. We built something here this year. Um, started last year, but I think we took a lot of steps in the right direction um, this year. Obviously, that's not the end result. The end result is, uh, um, is a little bit further. Now, the next steps for the Kraken will be the NHL draft coming up on June 28th and 29th. And that will be an opportunity for the team to add some pieces and to continue to build a strong future. Aaron, Kirsten, send it back over to you. Alex, thank you. Around the northwest, a mudslide took out a large section of a highway leading to Mount St. Helens last night. Drew Mickelson spoke with the drivers who were caught in the disaster. I'm on a corner. 
and all of a sudden I don't see a road. Robert Cornejo Garcia figures he drove up just a couple of minutes after the slide. I didn't hear anything because I had the music <laughs> turned up. Uh, and then when I got there, there's just huge trees coming down, you know, loud noises. Department of Transportation engineers say the snow, water, mud, and trees came from a hill a mile and a half above the highway around 9 o'clock Sunday night. The slide wiped out a bridge and carried rebar a half mile downstream. Searchers looked for any cars that might have been swept away, but it doesn't appear anyone was hurt. It took a couple of minutes to, you know, calm down a little bit. I was shaking a lot. But Corneo Garcia, 11 others, and one dog, Malu, were all trapped by the landslide and forced to spend the night. It's the heat, the, the snow melt, and that led to a landslide, and now we got to be hell of active. Monday morning, everyone was safely taken by helicopter over the blocked portion of Highway 504 to safety and family in Castle Rock. It was a lot bigger than I thought. When you Tim Euler hoped to get pictures of the Milky Way overnight. Instead, he spent the morning flying his drone over the slide zone. We had lots of cameras, not as much food and water. My first time there, as I'm driving up, I'm thinking about like how crazy it would have been to see the natural disaster of like it getting an explosion, um, and then I end up being a part of a natural disaster <laughs> while being up there. Well, it's unclear how long the highway was closed for that. Transportation authorities said that they expect repairs will take a while. Drivers on I-90 in both directions between Spokane Valley and Liberty Lake should expect some delays this week as crews work on the new Kramer Parkway undercrossing. Starting tomorrow night at 7 until 5 in the morning on Wednesday, crews will close the right lane of eastbound I-90 followed by the left eastbound lane and then the same thing will happen again on Wednesday night but on the westbound side. And coming up on Nightside, the cost of attending most public colleges in Idaho is going up. Plus, two people were thrown from a car when it crashed in northwest Spokane today, even though both were wearing seatbelts. Plus, most that's next on Nightside. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Heritage Funeral and Cremation. Get a free Makita Impact Driver Kit or a Pit Boss Grill now. When you build a deck with wood decking or timber tech or Trex composite decking and railing from PAR, visit PAR.com for details. What are you going to build? This is going to be a lot of fun. He's got the stars. Yeah. <laughs> the studs. I don't remember a time in my life I didn't watch his show. And the unexpected. I've always thought of you as Dave Jr. Every hair on my body is standing up right now. Jimmy Kimmel Live, weeknights on ABC. How's everything going today? Hey, Robert. We're good. Just checking in on that car loan we applied for. No worries. Let me pull that up. Yep. Looks like you're approved and all set. Hey, that's great news. So, you headed over to the dealership now? Yep. Just got to make one stop first. And we got a great rate, too. This is Dan. Dan is digging a tunnel. Dan really wants to attend the MLB All-Star Week at T-Mobile Park, so Dan is digging. Too bad no one told Dan about the $5 hit five ticket from Washington's lottery. Each purchase comes with a chance to win one of 14 MLB All-Star Week prize packages. But Dan doesn't know that, so Dan is digging. Good luck, Dan. You might want to hurry. Or go get a $5 hit five ticket from Washington's lottery. Unleash your spring adventure by scoring a great raid on a Northwest Motorsport rig. Check out the best selection of lifted trucks, diesel trucks, and adventure-ready SUVs at nwmsrocks.com. Power up your spring journey with Northwest Motorsport. Build your deck with PAR and get everyday low prices on Trex and TimberTech composite decking. But shop now and you'll get $100 off TimberTech, Trex, and AZEC railing and accessories with qualifying purchase. Visit PAR.com for details. What are you going to build? 4 News Now is brought to you by Inland Imaging. Thanks for staying up with us. Must be Diazzo. He talks about you all the time. Not all the time. 
Well, Disney's PG movie Strange World features a gay teen romance. Now first year Florida teacher Jenna Barbie is under fire for showing it to her fifth grade class. She says it was to teach them about the environment. Instead, it led to a complaint related to the controversial legislation. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed last year banning certain instructions about sexual orientation and gender identity in the classroom. School board member Shannon Rodriguez, also a parent of one of her students, was not happy with the movie. I'm not going to stand by and allow this minority to infiltrate our schools. God did put me here. Well, Hernando County School sent an announcement home to parents telling them the movie wouldn't be shown again. Barbie insists she followed the rules and had every child get a permission slip from their parents so they could watch PG movies in the classroom. Nobody had a process in place where individual movies got approved. Now that I had the situation happen, there's a whole process in place where you have to get every single movie approved with a letter to admin, to, to the parent, to back. Teachers who violate the Florida Parental Rights Bill can be suspended or have their teaching licenses revoked. Barbie says she simply wants to finish out her school year in the classroom. The cost of attending most public colleges in Idaho is going up, with the State Board of Education approving a 5% increase in tuition and fees. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it can add up over four years. For example, at the University of Idaho next year, it will cost in-state undergrad students $8,816 a year. This year, students paid $8,396. That's a $420 difference. That number doesn't include other expenses like books. During the meeting, discussion mainly focused on maintaining access for affordability for students, all while balancing increased costs because of inflation. Right now, Idaho has one of the lowest in-state tuition costs in the nation, coming in at number six, according to data from the College Board. One of the board members says the increase would move them to the number nine spot, assuming no other state raises their costs, which he says is unlikely. One program that could help with the cost of tuition is the Idaho Launch Initiative. Starting next year, the program would give Idaho high school graduates up to $8,500 to help pay for college or workforce training programs if they stay in Idaho. Preference will also be given to students pursuing in-demand careers like welding and plumbing. A story getting a lot of attention on KXLY.com tonight. The Washington State Patrol says a driver going too fast around a corner crashed and died. Their passenger was taken to the hospital. Investigators say the driver was going too fast to make it around the corner near Nine Mile Road and Seven Mile Road and hit a tree. The driver and passenger were thrown out of the car. WSP says they were wearing seatbelts. The name of the driver killed has not been released. Zoomed in on Doppler radar, we're still watching a couple areas of thunderstorm activity just north of Newport. Some recent cloud to ground lightning strikes and also around Diamond Lake. You may be hearing some rumbles of thunder there. It's mostly just heavy rain up around Bonners Ferry. Tonight, partly cloudy overnight, 56 for an overnight low, 84 tomorrow with the chance of thunderstorms redeveloping in the afternoon. Thanks to an area of low pressure, a very slow moving one over the next 24 hours. As we get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see that instability fire up showers and thunderstorms once again, and it does look like they'll be a little bit stronger than what we saw today. Here's our forecast radar starting off at 6 in the morning with the possibility of some isolated uh, showers in the Columbia Basin. Once we're into noon, you can see those thunderstorms mainly over the higher terrain, but some slipping down into the valleys, and as we get into the evening, our odds of thunderstorms right around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene increases. We'll zoom in on our computer model. This is 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Just starting to see those thunderstorms developing. This takes us through 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, and then by 11, we'll finally start to see things quiet down. So we'll be tracking these very closely tomorrow. High temperatures, meanwhile, will be well above average. Considering our average high is in the mid-60s, we're going to be in the 80s and 90s tomorrow. 84 on Wednesday with a continued chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. We'll keep them in the mountains on Thursday with a high of 87 and record high temperatures for Friday and Saturday. 88 Friday, 92 on Saturday. Both numbers would be records. More thunderstorms possible on Sunday with a cooling trend with not a lot of staying power. I'll be back to explain in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. 
Well, a woman is accused of pretending to be pregnant and hiding cocaine in a fake belly. Look at your screen. The Anderson County, South Carolina Sheriff's Office posted that photo of a deputy posing with the rubber prosthetic belly. During a traffic stop, deputies got suspicious when a couple gave conflicting information about the woman's due date. Deputies say the woman then took off running and drugs fell out of the fake rubber belly. In all, deputies found more than three pounds of cocaine. Both people are being charged with drug trafficking. The World Health Organization says if you're trying to lose weight, don't rely on sugar substitutes. In a recommendation based on a review of hundreds of studies, the WHO said non-sugar sweeteners don't help with weight control in the long term. Sugar substitutes include natural extracts like stevia and synthetic varieties. The organization said its recommendation applies to all people except those with pre-existing diabetes. The review also indicated possible effects like an increased risk of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases from the long-term use of sugar substitutes. Most people look to look forward to There are roughly 400 million children in foster care in the U.S. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, 90% of those kids in the system have been exposed to trauma. One former foster kid hopes to change that with the power of meditation. Morgan Norwood reports. Slowly breathe in. For Demetrius Napolitano, a sense of well-being did not come easy. He says the years of physical and mental abuse he says he suffered while in the New York City foster care system would land him in juvenile detention and headed towards a bleak future. Well, after 30 home placements in 20 years, he would be adopted a second time by John and Katie Napolitano. His new dad introducing him to meditation for the first time. By the third breath, it was a moment of realization for me on how I can use my breath to recenter myself. And for me, this was revolutionary because we're talking about a child who was on four to five different medications and um, in a mental institution as a child. And all of these harmful ways to self-regulate myself and no one told me the power of my breathing. He says that important lesson and the love and support from his new parents would help him earn degrees from St. John's and New York University. Later, Napolitano journeyed to India to study yoga and meditation, setting him on a path to help others. His nonprofit organization, Fostering Meditation, aims to engage at risk and foster kids in a new way. Here at this elementary school, in a new room that used to be for detention, now a safe space where students can recenter or quiet their mind. An important practice in yoga and meditation. Anytime like I do a solo session or even when I'm in my class, it's like relieving. Mr. Demetrius always says like if anything's personal, it doesn't go nowhere. All the stuff that's going on, I feel like I can keep it in this room privately. For Napolitano, fostering meditation is his way of giving kids growing up like he did a chance to succeed. I'm here as someone who's been on the opposite end of the tunnel and said, hey, there's a light at the end of this. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Time is running out for Congress to nail down debt ceiling legislation. What that means for your pocketbook, that's next on Nightside. Later tonight on Nightline, ABC News goes inside an East Buffalo community as it mourns and heals from a deadly mass shooting by a white supremacist, turning pain into activism to rebuild and invest in the community. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important, too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at ShopGo Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. ShopGo Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. You want the best selection of trucks? We got them. Looking for sporty, fun SUVs? We got those, too. If you're looking for a great deal on a new set of wheels, come on out to Cal. You want it? Cal's got it. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. It goes like one The big 99.9 Coyote Country. You filming? Yep. Try rolling your wrist, dude. You gotta focus on balance. You should switch to sledding. I'm gonna block him. Good idea. Don't forget stick work. Hustle's paying off.
You know, at first I was shocked when I won this Porsche Macan from Northern Quest, but then I realized someone had to win. Why not me? Life is crazy. Heck, it's gotten to the point where nothing surprises me. Hey. Beer me. You could win a brand new Porsche Macan. Only in Northern Quest. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Schedule your comprehensive eye exam at shopco.com or bring in your outside prescription. 4 News Now is brought to you by Washington's Lottery and Hit 5. Well, just in time for Memorial Day travel, gas prices are going down. AAA says at this time last year, gas was nearly $5 a gallon, and now the national average is $3.54. Analysts say fears of a recession have kept oil prices lower, leading to lower gas prices. Time is running out for Congress to nail down debt ceiling legislation before the June 1st deadline. The U.S. is just over two weeks away from potential default if an agreement is not reached. We could go into a recession. That doesn't happen, as President Joe Biden may be prepared to meet with top congressional leadership tomorrow. The way forward appears unclear. I think we'll be able to do it. It doesn't seem to be yet that they want it. A U.S. financial crisis could unleash chaos around the world and impact millions of Americans. Bolting on our debt isn't only about financial markets, it's about paying our social security recipients, it's about paying our troops, it's about paying the men and women who are working the border today. This as Americans are already contending with record household debt. The more money that households put towards their debt, the less money is available for discretionary spending, which is what holds up the economy. But there are two key ways to protect yourself as economic conditions grow less stable, paying down debt and boosting your emergency savings. The United States Postal Service is beefing up mail security during a rise in thefts. More mail carriers have been robbed on the job since July, and there's also been more than 25,000 incidents of theft from receptacles. To fight this, USPS is installing 12,000 high-security blue collection boxes around the country. It's also replacing 49,000 older locks with electronic ones. In addition, USPS is updating the process for change of address requests to prevent identity theft. Zoom down on Doppler radar, still watching some spots where we're seeing some thunderstorm activity. Just one cloud to ground lightning strike south of I-90 in Co or, yeah, Kootenai County and further to the south, some rain down around Colfax. Most of the wet weather is in Boundary and uh, it uh, Bonner County, extreme northern Bonner County, but we also have some rain around the Newport area, Diamond Lake. 83 degrees, our high temperature today, 67 is our average high, and we are going to cool down in the seven-day forecast, but nowhere near the 60s, which is where we would typically expect to be. The white line right here is our average high. You'll notice we are well above, including two record-breaking days. And then we have that cooling trend, 79, but it doesn't look like it is going to continue in a downward uh, way. In fact, here is our extended outlook from May 23rd through May 29th. We are in the orange, indicating a strong trend toward above average temperatures. Not the deep browns that we were last week, but at least above average temperatures less of a conviction that we're going to have below average precipitation, but we are in that light brown. Here is a look at your pick of the night tonight from Karen Stevens. This is Mount Spokane taken from Colbert. Still a little bit of snow on Mount Spokane, but the canola already thriving. Uh, seems a little early for that, but boy, they're planting a lot of canola in the inland northwest these days. Big uh, crop there into. So I love those bright yellow flowers with a bright blue sky. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. The Seattle Kraken were facing a win or go home situation for the second straight game. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti shows us if they could overcome Dallas and advance to the Western Conference Finals. That's next on Nightside. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Wednesday Spring Brides Day Out. Me and my friends started holding hands and we all started to pray. 
This is one of the most powerful stories I have ever covered. The unthinkable. When I saw him run out, I thought I had lost him. Sadly, after tragedies like this, the world moves on. Well, not this time. Oh my God. I didn't want another mom to feel this way. You were so glad you This is one special you will never forget. I certainly won't. Tomorrow, Cooney County voters will vote on the Coeur d'Alene Schools levy once again. What you need to know before you cast your ballot. Plus, we continue to salute local graduates during our Class of 2023 celebration. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. When it comes to baseball and Chevrolet, you won't have to look much further than the Inland Northwest to find some of the best examples of how Chevy dealers are giving back. The Diamonds and Dreams Baseball Field Renovation, hosted by Hometown Chevy and the 4 News Now's Extreme Team, ensures that those who play ball have what they need. From field upgrades to cash and baseball kit donations given to Little Leaguers, Hometown Chevy is proud to keep the dream of baseball alive. This year, they'd like to welcome Lewiston Motors and Dave Smith Motors to the Hometown Chevy Group. Check out a dealership near you today. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move with a new location opening soon, giving you more reasons to join now and be the best you can be in 2023. Move Fitness. The 4 News Now First Alert Weather app. Download or update it today. Uh, the best two words in sports, Game 7. And for the Seattle Kraken, it's the second time they faced that situation in the last two weeks. So they're basically veterans at this point. But this young squad hasn't been together nearly as long as their opponent, Dallas, who was just in the Stanley Cup Final a few seasons ago. So the odds were stacked against Seattle from the start. And on the road, once again, we go deep into the second period. We still got a scoreless game, but Jamie Olesik, uh, he's going to lose the puck here, and that leads a wide-open path for Roop Hints. He puts it in the back of the net, and the Stars on top. To the third, Dallas still on top, and another error by Seattle as Wyatt Johnson able to find his way behind the defense. And things are starting to look a little bleak for the home team, or I should say our home team. But with under 30 to play off a of face-off, Oliver Brookstand gets the loose puck and scores as somehow Seattle's got life. But then less than 10 seconds to play, one last chance, and that's off the mark. And Dallas survives and advances to the Western Conference Final. They survive this upstart Kraken team. Still a lot to be proud of. You know, we pushed as hard as we could push tonight. Nick, we just, uh, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't find our top gear. Um, you know, and that's give, give Dallas, you know, a lot of credit in, in that regard. Um, you know, I thought they, you know, they answered to a certain degree. They answered the game that we played in game six. And it may only be May, but it's certainly never too early to start looking ahead to the football season as NFL teams are going to be opening up training camps before you know it. And for the Seattle Seahawks, they wrapped up their rookie minicamp over the weekend. And this was our first chance to see the 10 newest Seattle Seahawks as they took the field for the first time after they were drafted just a couple of weeks ago. Cornerback Devin Witherspoon out of Illinois and wide receiver Jackson Smith and Jigba from Ohio State headline the first class of that first round. Those two guys that were taken in the first round, I should say and we know that they're going to make an impact really early on but everyone else that's kind of up in the air at this point and head coach Pete Carroll wants to see what those guys can do we've told them that we got to learn them and figure them out and uh, they know that everything counts we made a big deal about that so that's how they present themselves and, and how they act and how they speak so the process is underway uh, and now that they're here with us um, this is this is the best chance to really start to figure uh, you know who they are and what they're all about Seahawks will begin off-season OTA starting on May 22nd, and the last week we found out that they're going to open up the season against the Los Angeles Rams on, uh, in Seattle on September 9th. And former Washington State and Gonzaga prep defensive back Armani Marsh is keeping his NFL dreams alive after he signed a free agent contract with the Tennessee Titans. After originally walking on at Wazoo, Marsh 
It was a two-time All-Pac-12 conference selection, compiling 184 tackles and 13 pass breakups with four interceptions. The last Coug to appear on the Titans roster was quarterback Luke Falk, who was drafted by Tennessee back in 2018. Let's head out to the Diamond and Fenway Park as the Mariners opened up a series with the Boston Red Sox this evening. Starting pitcher George Kirby was absolutely dealing early and often. In the second, he gets Jaron Duran looking to get out of the inning. Kirby would go six and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run. Solid outing for him. We'd remain scoreless into the fifth. That's when Cal Raleigh with a man on absolutely crushes this ball down the right field line, 438 feet, and Seattle draws first blood. But we're not done with him just yet. Next inning, Cal up to the uh, plate, switch hitting this time. He goes uh, a right left field line over the monster into Harvard Yard somewhere, his seventh home run on the season. In the eighth, AU winner Suarez gets in on the action, a shot to dead center. And Seattle's just going to pull away and blow the Red Sox out of the water here. But the man of the hour is Cal. He's the first player to hit uh, a first catcher in Fenway Park to hit two home runs in the opposite way. It's, you know, it's a lot of hard work, work put in behind the scenes because, you know, unfortunately I don't get to hit as much on the right side as I would like to. But, you know, it, it's a lot of hard work and it's nice to see it pay off. And it's cool to do it over the monster. I, uh, I, can, I can always say I did that. So it's really cool. Mariners will go for the series win tomorrow evening as Luis Castillo gets the nod in that one. 4 News Now, we'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. I had a lot of bad days with gout, but that one took the wedding cake. Even with medicine, my uric acid was still too high to stop painful gout buildup. Then a gout specialist told me about Cristexa. Cristexa is a prescription medicine for adults with gout whose symptoms are not controlled by other gout medicines. I learned Cristexa quickly starts working to break down gout buildup. Cristexa is an infused medicine. Serious life-threatening allergic reactions can occur while taking Cristexa. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as shortness of breath, trouble breathing, dizziness, itching, or swelling of the throat or tongue. Cristexa is not recommended if you have high levels of uric acid without a history of gout. Do not take Cristexa if you have a rare disorder called G6PD deficiency or favism. Before receiving Cristexa, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart problems in all the medicines you take. Cristexa may cause gout flare-ups, allergic reactions, nausea, bruising, sore throat, constipation, chest pain, and vomiting. I received Cristexa for about six months. Now I'm in control, not gout. Find a doctor who specializes in gout at goutdocnow.com. Adventure, culture, and fine wine await you in the Lewis Clark Valley, less than two hours south of Spokane. Tour some of the world's most spectacular wilderness, beauty, and wildlife in Hell's Canyon. Experience the region's rich and diverse culture and history. Savor award-winning Lewis Clark Valley wines and delicious culinary creations from a variety of local wineries and fine dining establishments. Go to visitlewisclarkvalley.com and plan your destination getaway today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. We will be tracking thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening. Again, I think they'll be more widespread and potentially stronger. The hallmark of tomorrow's storms, heavy rain and the potential for flash flooding. I'll make sure to tell the dogs ahead of time that yeah. there's going to be thunderstorms. Oh, yes. But they don't have the weather app? The yeah, they can check the KXY weather app. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. an untapped market. I never thought about that.